Hi, my name's Ilma, and today I'd like to share Ephesians 2, verses 1 to 7. And you were dead in your offenses and sins, in which you previously walked according to the course of this world, according to the prince of the power of the air, of the spirit that is now working in the sons of disobedience. Among them we too all previously lived in the lusts of our flesh, indulging the desires of the flesh and of the mind, and were by nature children of wrath, just as the rest. But God, being rich in mercy because of his great love with which he loved us, even when we were dead in our wrongdoings, made us alive together with Christ. By grace you have been saved, and raised us up with him, and seated us with him in the heavenly place in Christ Jesus so that in the ages to come he might show the boundless riches of his grace in kindness towards us in Christ Jesus. Ephesians 2, 1 to 7. Here's my devotional. God made us alive in Christ. In this letter to the Ephesians, Paul recognizes that we are all dead, meaning we are all sinful and have offended God. He reiterates and reminds the believers that we must never forget the state we were in when God gave Jesus to us as a ransom for our sins. In verse 2, he emphasizes our natural bent to disobey and we used to follow the world's systems. In verse 3, Paul acknowledges the lusts of the man's flesh who only wants to satisfy its own selfish cravings. The shift from verse 3 to 4 is the difference of our sinful nature to God's mercy and great love for all of us. In verse 5, he further expounds on the grace given to us even though we don't deserve such gift of salvation through Christ's death. In verse 6, Paul talks about the resurrection power that is granted to us as soon as Christ died for our sins. Since Jesus died on the cross, we too must die to our sinful nature and be resurrected just like him. In verse 7, we see the manifestation of the boundless riches of God's grace and his kindness towards all those who are believers of Christ. When I became born again almost nine years ago, I was spiritually dead because I did not turn my back on sin. I didn't understand the sacrifice that Jesus did for me to have a clean slate with God. I also failed to comprehend the mercy and great love that was given as a gift so I can be free. I failed to receive and open the gift of grace and mercy. I was so wrapped up in my own drama and traumas that I didn't know the true nature of God. I'm grateful to my Lord and Savior because when he chose to give me the gift of salvation, I can now have victory over my sinful nature. It doesn't mean that I will be sinless. It only means that I will not make a habit of sinning. I will choose to be clean and pure for God. Reflection. When was the first time you felt so alive in Christ, and how did he transform you? Well, I'd like to remember back that, that time when he, the Holy Spirit pulled me out of a dead religion. It, it was in the middle of a service where I just started, you know, crying and and. and crying I didn't know why I was crying I was just I was just wailing uh, in the service and then I, I I had this thought in my mind that I should leave this church because it's a dead church and so I started going but I've been reading the Bible prior to that um, so but I did not have that victory to follow what I was reading. So that, that day that uh, I was uh, overcome by the power of the Holy Spirit to pull me out of a dead religion, 
I started following and looking for a church where I could find truth, where I could find um, guidance how to go about uh, be living for, for the Lord. So, although my whole life, I think even though I was not born again, I was still a believer. So, it took me... Since I was seven years old, I, I was a believer of Jesus, and um, I had a relationship with Him. But uh, it, it's not until I was in my 50s that I was able to really understand, and He, was, he gave me a revelation that now I can have victory over my sin because now I'm born again. And so... When I started um, obeying and uh, declaring that I'm not going to uh, do anything that will displease the Lord, that's when I saw the transformation started. Uh, I, it, it's not noticeable, but the, you will experience, I experienced that uh, the verses were all popping out to convict me of something that is not right. So in other words, I was being corrected. Uh, all my thoughts are being changed because of, of the, the, the studies that I was doing in depth with the Bible. So, and then I, I, I did not have any more of that pride, of that, of that rebellion, of that lawlessness. And, uh, and I wasn't even satisfying my own desires anymore. So that's how God transformed me and made me alive in Him. So how has He transformed you? And how has He, uh, how has he touched your life so that you will be able to give that to Him? Thanks for watching. I hope you check my website at ilmaars.com for artworks and photographs. And I hope you subscribe to my channel on YouTube so I can make more videos for the Lord. God loves you so much, and so do I.